Greetings ladies and gentlemen, and I'm welcoming you all back to my let's play of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Now we're into the first mission in Act 3, and the final act of the game of course. So the first one we're going to start off with Contingency. And this is the final snow level in the game. Link nearly complete. General Shepard, you're online with Captain Price. Back from the brink, Captain. Out of the frying pan is more like it. This world looks more like hell than the one I just left. We thought we'd recovered the ACS before the Russians could crack it. We were wrong. Then Makarov turned the U.S. into a scapegoat. Next thing you know, there's flames everywhere. What's this image you're sending me? You want to put out an old fire, sir? You set off a bigger explosion right next to it. Sucks away the oxygen, snuffs the flame. Price, you've been locked away too long. Better get your mind right, son. Shepard, are you willing to do what is necessary to win? Always. We got ourselves a pretty big fire. Gonna need a huge bang. You've been in the gulag too long, Price. Focus on taking out Makarov. No time, sir. We need to end this war today. I'm not asking you, Price. This is an order. Here it hmm. Looks like we lost our connection. Damn, that's unfortunate. But anyways, uh, yes, now we finally able to see Captain Price right, again. I see Roach is shooting my satellite feed. Too much interference. Do you see him? Over. Roger that, so. I found Roach. He appears to be intact. We're gonna head northwest to the subbase. Over. Copy that. The rest of the team landed near Ghost, pretty far to the east. Tell them to proceed with the mission. We'll regroup if possible. Roach, follow me and stay out of sight. So, basically, this mission basically plays similar to the previous, you know, Modern Warfare title, the old Gilly Dub. Where it's basically fully stealth. Now, here you do have, of course, the first half. Automatic rifles, frag grenades. One German Shepherd. Is, uh. Uh, f f stealth for the first half. These Russian dogs are like pussycats compared to the ones in Pripyat. It's good to have you back, old man. Roger that. Well, it's a good thing I didn't shoot that one lonely dog in Pripyat, or else it would send a whole pack. Do anything stupid. Convoy coming. Get out of sight. Huh? Even Captain Price was the same. Uh, crouch from Captain McMillan. So Captain Price pretty much is Captain McMillan here. And now we're just basically filling up. With Lieutenant Price shoes. Oh, I okay, I see one with the AK forty seven with the grenade launcher. And there we go. Good. I'm ready. Let's take them all out at once. You take the handler and his dog on the left. Mm, of course. Always lead me to shooting the dogs. Beautiful. I mean, if they are a threat, then I well, I wouldn't mind to have to put them down. After all, if I would just let it live, the dog would have killed me, and I don't want that. Oh boy, what a way to reload at that time. Oh, good. Good, I don't want to suck with that number now. <laughs> Ugh, bless me. I do have to say, for the remaster, it looks pretty damn gorgeous, I have to say. Intel was off. The Russians have mobile SAMs. Roger that. Have you found us some transport? I'm working on it. Out. Oh boy. Oh 
So yeah, we had to go to the woods and definitely one of my favorite sections in uh, in this game. Well, I just say there's a lot of favorite sections I didn't bring up, but I just love the, the snow forest. Let them pass. Looks like they're it's searching for us. Nice and quiet. So of course, if you played the uh, Spec Ops in the original, this mission has two Spec Ops sections. This is one of the first ones where you basically have to stealth this first section without Captain Price help and no checkpoints. And we're just close to our first intel. And you def the first intel will be located when you see a, oh, a parachute being caught off by these tree branches. So we'll be sitting on top of this little weapon cache here. Three man patrol dead ahead. Take them out or leave them be. Your call. <sighs> Nicely done. Yeah, normally I would avoid this area, but I had to do it for the intel. So make sure you follow Captain Price. I love the snow getting, you know, a little bit on the gun. Use this suppressed weapon. We'll have to take them out at the same time. Take the two on the right. Oh my god, Price, I thought you get that. Wait, did he say take the two? Oh, he said take two on the right. I went to the left. Ah, oh, my bad. Okay, I'm surprised they didn't see me from over there. Now there is a trophy, but of course uh, this one is, you just have to basically just rush a little bit up ahead and slide down the hill. But since I already planned on this game, I'm just going to let the mission well, play out to see what's uh, happening. So the yeah, trophy for this one was uh, keeping the first Predator drone um, alive. So, what's the status of air support? Cover. A UAV loaded with AGMs is en route to your position. Roger that. Of course, we see the mobile Roger. SAM site. Take control of the predator drone. Well, I don't really want to do it because look what happens. Yeah, that's why. Bollocks. What just happened? There's a mobile SAM site in the village. It just shot down our predator. So, we need another predator. So yeah, the trophy here, if you just basically just run up ahead and just slide down the hill before the uh, Samsung destroyed, uh, you will get the trophy when uh, the task force actually used the launcher to destroy it. And the stealth portion is over. No, of course, normally I would never ditch a sniper rifle because they're pretty good for long range, but the reason I'm going to have an SMG is because nice the work, second that's half that's is going to be Thanks. a little bit more annoying. Get Those explosions are gonna attract a lot of attention. So we finally run up here with Ghosts and the rest of the squads, and now we have the Predator missile. Now, unlike the one you use in Wolverines, you actually have a little bit of a charge time for it to use it again. Five plus KIAs. Good hit. Good hit. And of course Soap will tell you to uh, will be available online. No oh we got fair oh no Okay that dude would have survived that. He had an RPG Five 
Plus KIA is good hit. Good hit. Yeah, not really a big fan with the egg hog site in this game. I mean, it's pretty good for most weapons, but it has so much idle sway. Is that an enemy? I can't even tell who's friendly or enemy because their outfits are so similar. Alright, got more bad guys. Oh, I want to see this ammunition. I never seen this. What do you do? <laughs> what? He went. He went inside the building. What? What? No, I want to see. Holy sh. Okay, he's definitely a ghost. Holy fuck, he's more of a ghost than you, a ghost. What the hell? Why don't you go through walls like that? All right, so okay, let me see. AGM missile if, is online. I repeat, AGM missile is online. I want to see if they have two MG4s, one with different skins. Ah, perfect. Okay. Now, what I want to show the MG4 specifically in the campaign is that they didn't change it from the original. Is that for some reason? The MG4 has a different zoom in when the iron sights. Oh, shut up. You know, I gotta put this, um, this up and put it in so I don't have to hear him saying it's online. Repeat, AGM is online. But, anyways, when you zoom in the uh, MG4 in the campaign, you know how normal when you zoom in the iron sights? And when I zoom in with the MG4 that has the snow camo. Look how much zoom I have. Look how much I have. Let's let's get both. Of it, just for the sake of it. So let's just uh let's say uh I try and uh make a comparison. All right, let's use the the part of the rear side on that gate. That's gotta be my lineup when I zoom in. And now look how much I zoom in with this. Quite big. And quite a big picture too. You see, I zoom in just a little. Like you can still see the flaming uh, SAM site. But when I switch to the camo version, you don't even see the flames anymore. Like, what? What is this? I have no idea. Alright, now I need to pick up the other gun. There we go. Alright, now... Alright, this the next session coming up is definitely a little more challenging. Especially if you play this on Veteran. There's the submarine. Right below that crane. Roach, soften up their defenses with the Predator. Watch for the flashing strobes. That's us. Hold on, I want to see how quick it is. Alright. So, what I'm going to do first is... Once you shoot, um, make an explosion. Or make some noise. Um, it will be on a timer, so... That got their attention. The whole base is on the left. You better hurry. You've only got a couple of minutes before that submarine dives. We're moving. So we only have two minutes. A lot better than the Mile High Club timer. And funny enough, this is the only time that the veteran difficulty actually affects. Oh, 
Oh, thank God that P90 has a lower rate of fire. And here's the second intel when you go into the kitchen area in this building on your left when you're inside the uh, base. Multiple confirmed kills. Nice work. And the third intel will be back in these ammo caches right next to this helipad. And a helicopter to destroy. Where the hell am I? Good effect on target. BTR destroyed. Oh, that was a fire that damaged me. Oh, okay, come on. Is Where the hell is this guy? Oh, he's right there. Oh, I don't have time. And once you pass this uh, marker, and there we go. Not bad. And I think we have all the intel too. Yep. All right. And now you just uh, defend here and just. Wipe out with any, uh, Russians. Hold on, I gotta save my Predator missile. And there he is. There's Price. Now, funny enough, you can go inside the sub. I say, I wanna see where he goes. Yeah, I think you, you could try to go inside, but you if you try to f go follow Price, oh, you can't even go in there. In the original, if you try to follow Price into the sub, you actually fell to your death, even though there's a ladder. Uh, it was meant to be a playable area, but I guess they had to cut it for, well, not really sure why. But that level section for the sub, um, that will be actually used for the spec up mission in Modern Warfare 3, and a later campaign mission in MW in MW3 for the second mission. Army AGMs, stand by. Come on. AGM missiles online. Good kill. Truck destroyed. And they destroyed a Predator missile, but we're basically at the closing act, or closing in. The last of the mission, so Price sends a uh, missile. Although I love how cool the silo doors are open with and removing some of that snow. Love the little extra detail they add to the remastered. But yeah, that's gonna be uh, it for contingency. Thank you for watching, everyone. Until next time, we're gonna see where this missile has gone to. Until then, farewell and have a wonderful day, everyone.